Um, it's a it's an interesting question. Um, however, I think our um, our thought process is 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 kind of a little bit skewed. Like we've allowed ourselves to be misled. So watch this. You have a fifty percent chance of being right. I mean, that's that's easy. Like <laughs> uh, the proverb says, even um, a fool is considered wise when he keeps his mouth shut. It's like you've got wisdom or fo or folly. So it's it's easy to predict that somebody, you know, you got people saying, "Oh, it'll be Biden." You got people saying it will be Trump. Yeah, some of them will. Will um you know will will be correct, um, but when we're dealing of prophets, um, I think our understanding of what a prophet is is um is incorrect. A prophet isn't somebody who predicts something. If you're predicting, actually, you're not a prophet. So, for example, there are many people who um who understand shares and stock markets. And um, that's interesting because I know there are some pastors and there's one in particular I'm aware of goes by the name of Apostle such and such. Um, and I know he's a stockbroker. Uh, he does trading as a living. Um, now, when we're dealing with trading and stocks, what we're dealing with is we're collecting data, enough data to make a prediction about what we believe is going to happen with the stock, with the currency, with the company. Right, so essentially, um, we go, okay, COVID is happening, there's a lockdown coming, cool. A lot of the shops are going to close, their money's going to be affected, online services will ramp up, Zoom is going to take off, Amazon shares are going to go up, um, these, kind, these company shares are going to go up, so I'm going to invest. And these people are not profits. They just know how to read the signs and the times, and the Bible speaks of this. So a prophet, a biblically a prophet, is someone, it's like the mouthpiece of God. It's like a proxy. It's like if you had a meeting and you weren't able to come and you said to one of your colleagues, I give you my proxy, you can speak for me, you can vote for me. Whatever you say, you'll be saying it for me, and I shall be held to that, Right? When we're dealing with prophets, we're dealing with people who only spoke forth the word of God. And let me show you how deep it is. Yeah, As a prophet, you open up your mouth, so shall it be. Because when you open up your mouth, it is tantamount to God opening up his mouth. Uh, a prophet's word will never return void because God's word will never return void. Um, and the prophet, I always mix them up, Elisha or Elijah, one of my favorite stories. And these kids were teasing him. I think they were calling him a bald head or something. And then he basically opened up his mouth. And because he opened up his mouth, bears came and mauled him. Just because he said it. Um, mauled the children, I should say. So we've got to understand that there's a difference between predictions and prophecy. There's a difference between educated guess and knowledge.